we're undertaking a lead pipe renewal using a conventional technique where we've excavated over the water main, we've excavated at the boundary, and then we've uncovered any other utility plant before we bore across the road to pull the new pipe in behind it. Essex and Suffolk Water is replacing 30 kilometres of lead with plastic pipes to prevent leaks and protect health in the South End, Ilford and Kirkley areas at a cost of £3.5 million. The water company is using traditional and new innovative techniques. You don't have to dig massive holes anymore. You need access to the pipe on two sides. You fit a cable through. Once you have got your cable in and you have put the measurements into the computer to control the whole process, it will tell you whether you're going to be successful or not. You inject cobite that converts the pipe into a composite rope and you pull it out. It pulls out at about two meters a minute. It's safer. Uh, it's 25% of the cost in 25% of the time. I think we were very lucky, especially with Essex and Suffolk, embracing new ideas and new technologies and looking all around for new and better ways of solving old problems. Better, it has to save you money, but also better for the customers, give better customer satisfactions, keep the road open while you're replacing uh, the pipes, and of course, uh, environmentally, because what we are doing is we remove the lead from the ground. So I think all those things add up. There's a lot of small things that all add up to quite a big, quite a big package. The benefit to the company are that it should be faster, be safer and it should be cheaper. For the customers there should be less disruption and less congestion because we're digging fewer holes and we're away from the site far more quickly than conventional techniques. Hey,